Welcome back. This is Derek, a.k.a. Professor Silly Gaming, and let's get back into some Fallout. So, in the last video, Tony Stark found Valentine, uh, had to kill a lot of people to get there, discovered that Valentine was a synth prototype, which is very intriguing to Tony, and then they escaped... Uh, made their way out and made it back to Diamond City. Tony learned that we were probably dealing with a fellow who had a house in Diamond City as well, who is a professional killer. Now, Tony, uh, Tony uh, didn't sleep well thinking about confronting this well-armed individual. So let's see where the day takes us. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking synth. Shop in safety. No synths allowed at the surplus. Hey. Mr. If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot the breeze about the old-fashioned pistol, or anything else you need. Let's see what you have. Feel free to test the grips. Hey, swatta, 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 swatta! Swing, swatta! You need something, Scaver? Prescriptions, Bill. High-quality cam. Right here. For sale! Hand tooled pieces! Win the game! Buy a squad! You're getting pretty chummy with that reporter. Look at you. You're still a human being under all that? I'm just. I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. <laughs> yeah! What? What's this about? Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. You tell him. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> oh, what's no, no. wrong? I kid, not I so kid. <laughs> he is you dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to what? order. What? I'll take a look, sure. About? Music to my ears. What you gonna do about it? You tell him! Can you just... Can you just leave me alone? Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. You tell him! Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing, I ain't heard. Just... Stop. Okay, we got our own
get to it, people. Watch your back. God bless you, then. Hey, we appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the town, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is Arcjet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power. Its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. This is just a fancy way of saying that you're looting everything you can get your hands on. Looting implies that we're attempting to benefit ourselves. That couldn't be further from the truth. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Sorry word, but wouldn't want to leave the good reason aside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your work. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind.
arrived, we lost contact with them. They haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken wasteland. We've been a target from the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up missing. Let's hurry this up. I don't plan on rushing through the facility without extreme caution. Contrary to what you might believe, I'd like you to remain alive during the course of our mission. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. This is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Let's record this. Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <clears throat> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're going to get fired. 
The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? Let's get moving. Hello. Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line. And keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. Sorry. Why don't you toss this tape and we'll start a new one. compromised most of the facility. ahead. Should be our final stop. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Like the elevators are dead. 
We'll have to keep heading down for now, and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. It would appear my target has disappeared. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Fascinating. Two. One. Engine firing. Completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Detected. Curious. We've got company. Transmitter. 
Smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secure. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I don't know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck.
Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I've got a few minutes to browse. Always happy to make a sale. All right. I would say that is some um, relative success. We've got we've got a better weapon, way better than a, a 10 millimeter. Not sure how we feel about the Brotherhood. Now, there's only a few of them. Not that big of a deal right now, but the fact they want to hoard technology doesn't strike Tony as necessarily being for the best of everybody, especially Tony. That said, that working set of power armor that Dance had was pretty impressive, and it would be much nicer if we had a much nicer piece of power armor. So, once we get Codsworth, perhaps we should look for military options. There is a National Guard outpost location, and see what we can find to make this power armor a little bit better. There's too many holes in it right now, and if we're going against somebody who's really, really well armed, I'm concerned that, you know, especially headshots. Headshot right now, would be goddamn fatal. So, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I uh, hope you found this video exciting. Uh, I hope you will uh, join me next time when we uh, travel across the land um, and see what we encounter on the way. Everybody take care, and I will see you on the other side.